Remember that boat ramp video I did a little while ago? Well, I didn't put the plug in this time. There's only a couple things you need to do to prep your boat. That's one of them. <laughs> Better get it in before the boss finds out. Yeah, I forgot the plug. <laughs> if you're tall, it's not that big of a deal. You can be a little more negligent. Yeah, I got it. I need to clean out the bottom of the boat anyway. opener opening weekend uh, it's been a nice early spring it's hot uh, I'd pretty much rather starve than go deep for walleyes on opener you fish them deep all winter and it's so much more fun just to get up shallow there's a lot of cool ways to catch them so uh, yeah there's shiners up milling around the pockets we've already checked a couple out uh, they're gonna be up shallow on the mud mostly like kind of in you know eight or less feet so they're gonna be on trees the ends of reeds and and just in shiner pockets so uh it's probably going to be pretty fun uh got a good chance at some big ones too so we'll see what happens so basically for these shallow walleye um we're just running down the bank and stopping on little little pits and pockets um they can kind of be anywhere and they'll usually gang up pretty good uh, but yeah, these little pockets, like I said, the ends of trees, just little mud pieces, reeds, uh, little rock outcroppings into the mud, all that is good stuff. Kind of the primary bait I'm running here is a Z-Man Willow vibe. I've just got a, a little trick shot on there and uh, burning that along. Once we found some, I've kind of been slowing down a little and grabbing uh, just this little beauty, um, two and a half inch, Whatever they're called, slim shads, little Z-Man swim bait, slim swims, that's what it is, on a little head. So it's a lot of fun and it's a lot better than running a jig and minnow, I promise you that. We haven't caught any big ones yet, but they might be coming. This willow vibe, I just throw it out there, let it go to the bottom and just kind of giving it a slow, steady retrieve and you'll feel it, it's just like a crankbait. You'll feel that wobbling going on. If you reel it too fast, you'll blow it out. You can't really burn this in fun you're just cruising along cruising along and and you'll feel the blade stop and that's from the fish pulsing on it and uh and you load up and it's game on there we go that one i had to let it hit bottom and that's fine too with that trick shot even though it's got a big there we go even though it's got that big blade in front of it and you might think it is going to look hideous on bottom because that trick shot's elastic, it's gonna float up and uh, you know, they'll, they'll eat it off bottom too. It's not just for aggressive ones, so that's pretty cool. Nice majestic release. Eh? I always have to come back and ask this stuff and I hate to do it, but it's just the way the, the algorithm rocks. So if you're being tight with your likes and your subs, then pony up a little. I mean, I made a video, the least you can do is click a little button. Well, I gotta make an account. Well, make an account, it takes 40 seconds. Like people sign up for all kinds of stuff. McDonald's, MyPass, A&W for a free coffee, whatever. You're getting free fishing info that I had to dig up for the last 30 years. So honk on that button. Thank you. Got a silver cheek pike or a big walleye? Uh. It's one or the other. Brutal. I'll give you your one free pike handling. Hmm. 
Now what? <laughs> Never mind. What are you doing? Uh oh. Clean boat. It was. It's a beaut. Right into the meat locker, no hesitation, hey? I need some water. Every little kind of zone's different. Some of them, you can see them busting up on the shiners and all they want is that willow vibe, just something fast and flashy. Uh, you know, some of the little zones, this, this little swim swim's been killing it. And then in a couple, she's absolutely whipped me on the net. That was a horrible hook set there. Um, so I don't know what that was, there we go. Oh, look at the shiners. Bleed stopper. So all I. <laughs> Nothing more exciting when the blades stop on that willow vibe. That means something's happening. Yeah, you may notice that I'm using an old lumber whistle of a rod here for this, and that's kind of by design. Uh, this happens to be just one of the few spinning rods I have that has a big long tapering action. Uh, more walleye series rods have that, like uh, Lindy rigging rods and that. And the reason is that these fish just hit it so sharply that if you have a super fast tip, it just pops it right out of the mull, especially on these shiner ones, that's like even more amplified. So this old bronze back just loads up like nothing else. And yeah, I'd, I'd look towards walleye series for this instead of the more classic bass style ones, like a GLX walleye would be ideal, but I don't have one with me, so. Get brownie. Who's dragging? There we go. Found some more. those shiners hopping just little ones but smaller fish in here so we're just slim swimming I'm not about to leave a big pack of fish just because they're a little bit underprivileged so I'm just letting it hop out there and super crawl look at that you can see those shiners jumping around a little bit nicer well beauty e-tron Getting in on the action there, boss. Come on up. They're not really into your Ned rig in this pocket. They want the shiner. There's three casts in a row. That's a nicer one. Yay, yay. Okay, well that's it for that session. Um, fishing shallow, sweet. There's no other way around it. It's the most fun you're gonna have walleye fishing, I think. Uh, and the cool thing I like about it, especially since everyone's got GPS and good Lake Master maps and graphs and everything, um, these little honey holes you find are still protected. You can't find them by looking at a map and just showing up. You gotta put the miles on the trolling motor and they'll change what pockets they use every day. So that's the cool thing about it and yeah, give her a shot.